Hello friends, my name is Nikhil Singh Chadak and I am working as an assistant professor in School of Vocational Studies, Ambedkar University, Delhi. Today I will be discussing about the topic role of media in tourism promotion. Subtopics which I will be covering under the same are introduction, impact of media on tourism, tourism and social media, relationship between media and tourism, role of media in Indian tourism system, impact of media in promoting Indian tourism industry, present day scenario, future scheme of tourism industry with media, conclusion and the finally the sum up. After studying this particular lesson, you will be able to describe the role of media with special reference to tourism, explain the place of media in promoting tourism in India, relationship between media and tourism and how they are correlated and how media is impacting tourism, present day scenarios, future scheme of tourism industry with media. Introduction. Media being an independent institution functions as a watchdog. It keeps an eye over the growing process of commercialization of cultural. For example, the allotment of big plots of land along the sea coast in Goa and other places is at times at the cost of local people. It also destroys the fragile ecology of the coastal region. Similarly, large tracts of land are allotted for the construction of golf course. Hence, tourism, you can say in a positive or, or a negative sense, it is impacting the Indian system. Media as a watchdog can monitor the proper utilization of concessions as well as do the social costing. So media has a very, very huge role to play in terms of the overall tourism development and whether the, that particular development is done in a sustainable way or not, that should also be the responsibility of the media. The policies of the government at times may not be suitable for local population or you can say the local community. In such situations, the media gives a voice to various affected groups. So whenever there is a negative sense of things in terms of the local community, when, whenever there is any kind of tourism development is going on, so media is the most important voice for the people who are being affected by the growth of tourism or development of some kind of in infrastructure at a local level. For instance, the developers have displaced the traditional community of farmers along with dairy cooperatives which were in the dominant economic activity. The government has not surveyed either the environmental impacts or cared about for the local public opinion. So it is in these contexts that media is expected to play its role as, as a watchdog. So this is one of the example. They have to report the social public opinions and have to cover the whole issue keeping in mind the interest of the poor villagers or as well as the local community and to provide a voice to them whether they are happy with the development of infrastructure or not. Similarly, in the context of cultural heritage, media is expected to play the role of a watchdog. The commercialization and vulgarization of culture by marketing it to tourists may destroy it for the host population. Thus, media has a very important role and has a huge significance in terms of portraying a positive image of a particular community or a particular place in India. Media is expected to highlight the side effect of massive commercialization of our cultural heritage. Thus, media is also clearly impacting our cultural heritage or you can say the cultural tourism also. It is expected of media to analyze problems in context of change, changing socioeconomic conditions. So, socioeconomic conditions, the change of socioeconomic conditions also directly and indirectly affecting media. Impact of media on tourism. The role that the media are playing in the various aspects of life is becoming increasingly greater day by day, especially in spheres like social interaction and cultural and educational aspects of life. As archaeological monuments can articulate the traditions, customs and heritage of the past, the media can in its turn clarify today's values and civilizations of the different countries and hence attempt to create any widespread erroneous information. Both the media and archaeological monuments have messages and missions with various dimensions. So that, that, that is why you know media is kind of impacting the image of our consumers in terms of how we 
have a perception in terms of the ar archaeological monuments which we have in India. The media contribute greatly in activating tourist attractions. Media are playing an important role in the growth, development and promotion by creating a better awareness and understanding to cater to the needs and requirements of the domestic and international tourists. As one knows is every traveler is a potential tourist. It depends upon the campaign of the professionals, that is media professionals and the tourism experts of the industry to tap this potential and convert the potential tourist into the actual tourist or you can say the client. Hence the media is playing a very very vital role for the tourists who are the international tourists and whenever they are you know kind of booking any kind of trip to India, initially they would be looking at the media, they would be going through the various blogs, the social media and all those things to understand the various attractions which are there, which are being popular in India. In this world of constant technological evolution, consumers, especially tourists are changing their behavior patterns looking for more tourist friendly sources of information. So that is why tourists these days are very much dependent on media in terms of you can say due to the COVID now the the concept of virtual tourism has come up. So media is playing a very very vital role in terms of how virtual tourism is being promoted, how a particular cultural destination virtually is being promoted. Media communication technologies are imperative for frontline investments for sustainable globalized tourism development indicators. The powerful effects of media communication can bring sweeping changes of attitudes and behavior among the key actors in local, national and global tourism for peace, security and sustainable development. So media is playing a very very important role you can say the vital role in terms of developing of tourist system, tourism system in terms of the sustainability. The social, cultural, economic, political and environmental benefits of tourism would usher in monumental and historical changes in the country. Development in communication is one of the best ways to go in developing ecotourism. This strategy involves the planned communication component of programs designed to change the attitudes and behavior of specific groups of people in specific ways. Through person to person communication, mass media, traditional media or community communication. It aims at the delivery of services and the interfere or the interface between service deliveries and beneficiaries where people are empowered to buy informed choice, education, motivation, facilitation, affecting the expected changes. Thus, media is also playing a very very vital role in terms of promoting the ecotourism in India as well as changing the mindset of the people in terms of our culture. This can be done by media advocacy targeting all key stakeholders involved in the tourism industry. Effective use of communication techniques can break barriers and promote better use of participatory message design which combines both traditional and modern media. The internet granted the freedom enjoyed by print media and common carriers such as letters, mails and cable to the public media. Through audio streaming, it is possible to enhance the reach of radio signals to any part of the world. The vast capacity of internet enables each media house to exhaustively investigate and publish depth analysis. Internet radio is not limited to audio as pictures, images, digital files and graphics are accessible to the users. Advertisers and their audiences can easily interact via the internet broadcast. So internet also plays a very very vital role in terms of the Indian population in terms of how that particular internet is depicting our Indian culture in, in the mind of the people of India. Tourism and social media. Tourism is an information intense industry therefore it is critical to understand changes in technologies and consumer behavior that impact the distribution and accessibility of travel related information. With the enormous amount of information potentially available to travelers, the internet constitutes an important platform for information exchange between the consumers and industry suppliers. That is example hotels, transportation, sectors, attractions. You can say the, the all three A's of tourism that is accessibility, accommodation and traction. There are also the intermediaries such as travel agents, the controllers such as governments and administrative bodies 
as well as many non-profit organizations such as destination marketing organizations. Thus, media directly or indirectly creating a huge impact in terms of the overall tourism business in India, in overall development of domestic tourism as well as the international tourism receipts in India. So thus, like we have already discussed, like media such as the various platforms such as the hotels, transportation sectors, travel agents, comments, they all are doing directly and indirectly advertising a particular tourism product in India with the help of media. Different technological interfaces such as search engines, online travel booking sites and websites of destination marketing organization facilitate the information exchange between online travelers and the so-called online tourism domain. Hence technology, media is playing a very very vital role in terms of developing our tourism ecosystem. These days all these travel booking companies have created their online search engines, social media websites, social media platforms through which they are you know kind of doing all the bloggings and promoting their tourism products whatever they are offering. Particularly it has been argued that understanding the nature of the online tourism domain that is the composition of online tourism related information potentially available to travelers provides an important stepping stone for the development of successful marketing programs and better information system in tourism. These days the destination management organizations also approaching the various social media platforms in terms of attracting the tourists both the international as well as the domestic tourists in that particular destination. In present time social media is playing an increasingly important role as information sources for travelers and potential tourists. Henceforth social media facilitate the interactions between online consumers have emerged as an important component of online tourism domain. Hence, the tourism has gone online, you can say, and with the help of media, with the help of various social media platforms, tourism, all the major tourism players are promoting their tourism products in a wider platform. Social media includes a variety of applications in the technical sense, which allow consumers to post, tag, or blog, and so forth on the internet. So, these days, the various concepts like people who are visiting various destinations in India, they are going back, they are doing or they are writing a lot of blogs in terms of how that particular destination is there and what kind of services they are offering. The contents generated by these social media include a variety of new and emerging sources of online information that are created, initiated, circulated and used by consumers with the intent of educated educating each other about products, brands, services and issues. A relationship between media and tourism. Both media and tourism belongs to the service industry. Both of them work together hand in glove. Media contribute to 80% of tourism revenue and tourism contributes to 25% of media's revenue. Hence both of them are dependent on each other and very much correlated. As we have already discussed that media has a huge role to play in terms of advertising or marketing India as a leading tourism destination. The role of tourism in India industry such as journalism is ever growing. In most of the universities offering journalism as a course, students have to do compulsory project on tourism and its allied areas for their respective degrees. The media have a crucial role to play in putting emerging destinations. Hence, India is a land of so many unexplored, you can say untapped destinations. So, media has a huge role to play in terms of promoting those untapped or unexplored destinations for the consumers. The relationship between tourism and media is vital and complex. Tourism is highly dependent on media reporting because the vast majority of travel decisions are made by people who have never seen the destination firsthand for themselves. So firstly, I mean people who are kind of planning to visit a particular destination, initially they would be looking at the pictures, the videos over the media or over the television and then they would be creating a kind of a perception whether they would be going to visit that particular destination or not. When there is a bad news or a crisis, the impact on tourism can be devastating like the current situation of COVID-19. COVID-19 has created a very negative impact of tourism on consumer minds. The tourism industry globally 
is you know is on the downfall due to the covid 19 and there are a lot of tourism companies tourism products have been failed as people have stopped traveling tourists are scared away for, from destination caught in the glare of round the clock disaster coverage as i have already discussed causing communities dependent on tourism to lose their source of livelihood hence tourism is also playing a very very important role for the development of local community to give them the employment role of media in indian tourism in a country like india the travel journalist media experts on travel leading interactive popular and branded newspapers mainly published from indian metro cities and electronics medias are always highlighting the clients about the places of tourist interest tourism tourist season peak season or leak season image scope of shopping resources hospitalities people culture and heritage to cater to the needs of prospective and actual tourists hence the media is playing a very very vital role in developing a positive kind of a perception amongst the tourist amongst the domestic as well as the international tourist in terms of giving them information about the peak season in india lean season in india what kind of interest they can seek in india what kind of tourism products you can find in india what kind of places of interest are there in india what kind of culture tradition and heritage and what kind of world heritage sites which are being offered in india tourism earns revenue through foreign exchange this foreign exchange is necessary for the government for reducing its deficit and media is responsible for creating awareness about tourist destinations available in india to the overseas travelers or the international travelers hence there is lot of foreign exchange is also coming towards tourism and media has a significant role to play in terms of increasing the foreign exchange by promoting tourism in india by promoting unexplored untapped destinations but by promoting indian culture heritage and all those things media industry works with hotels travel agencies tour operators airlines and the various government agencies to bring revenue to the country by promoting tourism hence media has a huge role to play media comes from medium a way through which one can communicate with the others so letters posters emails public meetings are forms of media you can say whereby you communicate with a large number of people it includes tv news internet in the tourism sector media advertising the various tourism products as i already communicated media with the help of media ministry of tourism is also creating lot of webinars these days and thus promoting various indian culture various forms of indian products which we have and all those things information and highlight the heritage site for its renovation media works in tourism by newspapers magazines films slides journals photographs displays and exhibits booklets and brochures and so on ministry of tourism has recently launched lot of social media campaigns in terms of promoting my tourism in india cultural tourism in india medical tourism in india as well as the wellness tourism in india without the assistance of the media and its support many places would have remained unexplored as the awareness about that particular place is very minimal to the foreigners or the international tourists for example chennai has the second longest coastline in the world this information would not be available to outside world without the support of the media even social networking sites like facebook and twitter are also promoting tourism hence we need to portray our various tourism products what kind of tourism products which we have what what kind of advantage in terms of tourism which we have and we should reach to our international tourists the trinuvali halwa became very popular only after media started promoting it and it caught the people's attention towards the mouth watering and the kadai halwa became an instant hit so it was the media who promoted this and it became eventually the instant hit the fish curry of malabar and gone fish curries which are popular in the european countries attributes the success to the vigorous campaigns which are being run by the media and the hospitality sectors of india communication affects tourists or you can say the clients directly or indirectly nowadays almost all the leading newspapers regularly feature tourism news in their daily publications sometimes a few organizations are sending their journalists to make a coverage on india and foreign destinations every year before a lo long vacation like puja vacation in west bengal summer vacation in northern parts of india and the southern india number of magazines like outlook traveler regularly feature 
different excellent and magnificent articles to attract one segment of tourist community to participate in long trip and shorter trip either in India or in abroad. So there are these days lot of travel blog, food writers, food critics writers, hospitality writers who are you know kind of switching on to the social media and writing all their experiences so that the people should be aware of the all the importance of that particular destination in terms of the tourism products. Impact of media in promoting tourism industry. Over the years, media have contributed towards shaping tourism into a responsible industry by promoting the following good practices. It protects the environment and minimizes the negative social impact of tourism, thus creating a sustainable tourism development in India. It generates greater economic benefits for local people and enhances the well-being of host communities. It makes positive contributions to the conservation of natural and cultural heritage that is a need of the hour to conserve our natural and cultural heritage and that is what media is doing and promoting the world's diversity. It provides more enjoyable experience for tourists through more meaningful connections with local people or the local community. It helps to understand the local culture, social and environmental issues. Present day scenario, India is on the verge of becoming a powerful nation and we have witnessed the efforts of past and present governments in re-establishing the image of India globally as a developed nation not only in terms of its economy but also in the rich culture, heritage and the kind of tourism products, wide variety of tourism products which we have. Media has played an indispensable role in highlighting India's achievements in the field of science, technology, arts and so on globally. However, unfortunately India is still tagged as a developed nation in spite of its vast achievements, vast efforts and also considered underdeveloped in terms of the international tourism receipts and tourism potential. Hence, media again has a huge role to play in terms of attracting more and more tourists in India and increase our international tourism receipts and increase our ranking in terms of the most popular tourism destinations in India. The media has a great role to play by addressing the social, cultural and economic problems and that is still pulling down India to the category of a developing nation. Today, media needs to cover more of the social and cultural as well as the health related issues so that it contributes positively in the development and well-being of the people and should strictly refrain itself from portraying the regressive ideologies and thoughts that might take India a step backward to the dark ages. We should give credit to the media these days as it has done a commendable job in terms of creating awareness amongst Indians in terms of the protocols of the COVID-19, the do's and don'ts. Furthermore, Indian media still have a huge role to play in terms of promoting India as a leading tourism destination by promoting it at a global level as we have a huge potential in terms of the number of tourism resources which we have in India. Further scheme of tourism industry with media, the introduction of new categories of awards such as emerging trends in Indian tourism, India going abroad or the global seek to encourage not only the pioneering concepts of the brands that have presented India culture and heritage to a global audience but also highlight their success and achievements. Media is reflecting a citation Indian heritage renaissance to the Taj Mahal Palace and Towers Kolaba Mumbai as a special recognition for the revival of the heritage wing. So, so, so the media is putting a lot of efforts in terms of promoting the Indian heritage. The best stakeholders from emerging categories like medical tourism, ecotourism, adventure tourism, heritage and leisure tours have also been honored by the media community. Conclusion Indian tourist travelers and excursionists are being influenced by the different types of attractive presentations by specialized television channels, articles by renowned journalists and fantastic coverage by travel magazines. Gradually all these media are creating a positive image and a positive image of tourism in the attitudes, minds and perceptions, psychology, behavior and in the final selection of the site inbound or outbound whenever a particular tourist is planning to visit. As the verdict goes, media have a social responsibility to enhance the blending of local, natural, international, national, cultural values of enriched politics, society and economy. Public communications strategy based on access to quality information and knowledge which drive the global tourism through partnership initiatives such as peace and security, conflict resolution for ecosystem, quality tourism, joint ventures, technology transfer and the likes. Thus, 
media is also playing a very huge role in terms of promoting border tourism and the peace tourism in india let's sum up we discuss about the media in india and its role and in the promotion of tourism in india various groups and individuals have a lot of expectations from mass media in the area of preserving national heritage tourism and culture which we have discussed today at times mass media is described as the conscious keeper of the nation the role of media therefore becomes crucial in tourism promotion it is we discuss the role of media and also people's expectations towards it you must also have no, noticed that media disseminates information and news about various aspects of culture and tourism it at the same time helps in putting things in proper perspective and provides a platform to people to discuss their opinions and concerns on vital issues of culture both private and government controlled media have their limitations in spite of the shortcomings mass media by and large effectively works as a watchdog of the society and also thus promoting a positive side of the tourism they try to have a balance between their commercial interests and societal interests thus promoting tourism in india in a larger context thank you very much